Hi everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. With today's tip we're going to have a look at how to help you rotate better on your backswing, especially if you're someone that tends to uh, tilt towards the target with your spine or have what's called a reverse pivot. So reverse pivot would look very similar to this kind of position at the top so spine as you're swinging back you're trying to rotate but you're tending to tilt your spine towards the target which is going to give you a number of issues especially when you swing down if you're going to try and correct that and you'll end up pulling away from the target so your energy is moving away from the target when you're trying to get the club to move towards the target so it'll give you a lot of issues with directional control you certainly won't be anywhere near full power and you're going to have a lot of strike issues uh, from that position as well so uh, rather than tilting towards the target ideally what we'd like to see is that when you're at the top of the swing that your spine um, tilts slightly away from the target by a few degrees so we'd want to see more of this kind of position at, at the top rather than this kind of position. Now one of the main things that can cause a reverse pivot is not engaging your left leg correctly. So if you notice when you swing the club back that left knee really moves inwards in this kind of direction and it drops, it drops down as well so you lose a lot of height in the left side of your pelvis because the left side of your pelvis tilts down that way then it's going to make you lean over towards the target. So one of the, the best things we can do here is to get this left knee a little bit more under control. So here's a tip to help you with that. All I would do is when you set up to the golf ball is turn a range basket upside down so it's behind your left foot if you're a right-handed golfer and then put your your driver on top of that so we've got the handle of the driver just extending out so that when you take your stance up you can put your stance your, your left foot in front of that basket but you can see the driver shaft of the driver and the handle is just sticking through by the left knee there now if you position that so it's on the edge of the basket now if you move your knee inwards you're going to knock that off so if you need to keep more control in that left knee and not let it move in quite so much this is quite a good drill to practice just to get that feeling of how to make that backswing and as you make that backswing to keep that left knee out and to get more rotation in your body so what you're trying to work on there is keep the left knee on the left of that driver handle but bring the left shoulder to the right of that driver handle and that's the feeling that you want to start getting into uh, into the backswing so have a go at hitting one of those and you should find that you, you if you're doing this correctly you don't knock uh, the driver handle off at all So it's good feedback if I did, and I'll just show you there, if I did let that left knee, I've set up with only about an inch between, uh, maximum between my left knee and that handle. If I did let my left knee collapse in there like that, you see straight away, rolled the shaft off the edge of the basket. So just make sure key things there are that when you do set up, make sure you're setting up very much on the edge of that basket. So any knock onto that at all, it's just gonna roll off and give you the feedback that you need that that left knee is moving in a little bit too much but as I said work on keeping the left knee on the left of that and work on turning the left shoulder to the right of that uh, driver handle that you've got on the basket there it'll really help you to make a better turn a better rotation and you'll stop that reverse pivot and that tilt over towards the target it's a game-changing golf tip